السلام عليكم Welcome everyone to our lesson for today for the second intermediate grade. Our subject, as you know, is the English language from the book Super Goal 4 for the second semester of this year. Our lesson is Unit 3. There is no comparison grammar. So today we will have we will discuss a grammar. This presentation is prepared by Mrs. Majida. Thank you very much, and it will be presented by me, Sultan Shahrani. So. At first, I want to thank you all for being with me. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you, with a great student like you. The second thing that I want to make sure that our book, that you understand that our book is Super Goal 4. Okay, so our book is Super Goal 4, not the full blast, the full blast with another teacher. So our book for today that we will study, that we will discuss is Super Goal 4. The third thing, I want to make sure that you are ready to begin our lesson. So, are you ready to begin our lesson? Everyone, are you ready? Very nice, excellent, okay, let's go ahead. We have some objectives at first that we should know. The first thing, discuss given questions. Number two, read different texts to answer more questions. Number three, use adjectives to compare between two or more things and people. Okay, first of all, we have a warm-up. Which adjective describe the pictures better? So, the first picture, this is picture number one. So, which of these is describing this picture? We have full, two, crowded, and empty. So, what do you think? Give me a description from these. Which one is better? Give me one. Excellent. Yes, that's right. Two. That's right. Excellent. Two. Because they are two. One and two. Okay. The second one. The second one. This picture. What do you think? Should we say full, two, crowded, or empty? Excellent. We can say full. Or we can say crowded. Yes, that's right. Many students inside the classroom. Very nice. Excellent, everyone. That's right. Grammar. Now we will start with our grammar. Look at the titles and underline the repeated words. So, I want you to see to these three sentences and tell me what's repeated. What are the repeated words? The world's most popular sport, the world's most expensive hotel, the great white, the world's most dangerous fish. So, what do you think? Which of these words is repeated? You can see it in the first sentence, also in the second one, and in the third one. The same word. What do you think? What are the similar words, the same words? What do you think? Can you tell me? Three? What do you mean by three? No, I'm not asking about the number. I want you to give me the word. For example, the word sports. You will find it here. You will find it here. Can you find it? Can you find it sports here? No, there isn't. Fish. Can you find it here? No, there isn't anything here. So I want you to give me, for example, we have the. Da, da. It's the same. Yes, this is the first thing. Da and what? This is da. This is da. Excellent. Most, most, most. Okay, the repeated words. I want the repeated words. Worlds. We have worlds and we have here also worlds. Excellent. So, the most, the, the world's most. The world most. You can find it here, and here, and here. That's right. Excellent. So, today we will talk about the most. The most. The most. Okay, we will not talk about the, the world. It's a word, a simple word. Okay, so, the important for today is the word the and most. The most. Also the most. So, we have a question. What is the kind of the word that comes 
after them. So, what can we call this plural? Uh, sorry, popular. This is popular, expensive, and dangerous. What can we call them? Noun, verb, or adjective? Popular, expensive, and dangerous. Excellent. They are adjectives. They are adjectives. They are describing things. So, we say popular sports. The sport is popular. Expensive hotel. The hotel is expensive. Dangerous fish. The fish is dangerous. That's right. They are adjectives. You are right. We call them adjectives. Okay. So, today, at first, I want you to understand that we will talk about the comparing. If I have two people or two things, if I have more than two, what can I say to compare? For example, okay, this is Imad. Okay, this is Imad. Imad is tall. We can say that, okay? Imad is intelligent. Imad is tall, Imad is intelligent, okay? Now I have two. I have Ahmed and I have Imad. I want to compare. Do you know what does it mean, compare? Can anyone tell me in Arabic? Compare. What does it mean, compare? When I compare. Excellent. That's right, Muhammad. Thank you very much. That's right. Okay. So, we want to compare Ahmed with Imad. So, we say Ahmed is taller than Imad. Okay. This is Ahmed. Yes, he is taller than Imad. Taller than. Taller than. This is the word tall. Okay, can you see it? This is tall. Okay, now it is taller than. The second thing, Ahmed is more intelligent than Imad. Ahmed is more intelligent than Imad. So we compared with these two, okay, gentlemen. So we have Ahmed and Imad. So, when I compare between two, how many people that I have? Can you tell me how many? One and two. How many? Two. Excellent. I want you to remember this. So we have two. When we have two, okay, two people, or when we have two things, maybe two things, two people, with the short adjectives, for example, tall. So tall is short adjective. Why did we say that uh, it's tall? It's short. Why did we say that it's short? Because it's one, two, three, four letters. Okay, tall. You can say two syllables. Two syllables. Tall. Okay, tall. All. It's two syllables. Four letters. So it's short adjectives. With the short adjectives, listen. With the short adjectives, we put er. Okay, this is the adjective. Tall. We put er. This is the er, and we put than. So it is Ahmed is taller, taller than Imad. But with the long adjectives, like for example, intelligent, we have, I think, uh, four or five syllables. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letters. Eleven letters, okay? So when we have long adjectives, we put more before, more, then the adjective, intelligent, okay? After that, than. Excellent, yes, we use more with the long adjectives. This is long and this is short. Okay, excellent, that's right. Okay, is it understood? Okay, so when we compare at the end, when we compare two, two, if, it's, if, if the, sh the adjective is short, er than, if it's long, more before, more than the adjective than than. That's all. Okay, can you see it? So we call this comparative. We call it comparative because we compare between two. This is very important. Please, I want you to remember we are comparing between two. We use the ER with the short. We use more than with the long. Excellent. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, next. Complete the sentences with the comparative forms of the adjectives in parentheses. So, the first one, I want you to tell me. Let's see. Okay, gold is heavy than mercury. Okay, I want to say something first. I want to say something. When we want to add ER, 
when we are, want to add ER, if we have Y at the end, and before the Y we have consonants, Z is consonant, okay? The vowels are E, okay, A, E, U, okay, what else? I and O, okay, those are the vowels, okay, everyone? We call them vowels. And the other letters, the other, other letters, we call them consonants. So when we have a consonant, Z, when we have consonant, it's one of, not one of the vowels. It's not one of the vowels. When we have consonant, we have to change the Y. Can you see the Y? We have changed it to I, then ER. When we have the letter G, for example, it's a consonant, okay? For example, a consonant, any consonant letters, any consonant letters. But before that, we have one vowel. This is I. Okay, can you see it? So we change the the G, the last letter, into double. We put it double. We put another G, then E R. Okay, so it it will be bigger than double G. Okay, everyone, I want you to remember this too. Okay, let's go back. So the word heavy, gold is heavier, heavy than Mercury. So, should we say heavier or should we say more heavy? What do you think? Can you tell me? Write it on the chat. Excellent. That's right. We should say heavier. That's right. Heavier. And we have to change the Y into I. The Y, we have to change it into I. That's right. Number two. The Sahara Desert in Africa is much big than the Arabian deserts. Excellent. Bigger. That's right. Can you see it? Double G. Bigger. Okay. Or any consonant. We said any consonant and before that a vowel. Number three. Diamond is expensive than silver. More expensive. Excellent, everyone. Thank you very much. Because it's long. Long adjective. Not short. It's long. That's right. That's right, everyone. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the next. Listen now. Read these sentences with more adjectives. Tariq, okay, this is Tariq, okay, is the tallest. Oh, the tallest boy. Listen, this is very important. In the class. So, how many students, for example, in the class? We can say 20, 15, maybe 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have more. So we can say, yeah, maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 15, 25, we don't know. So we have more than two. Okay, so the most important thing, listen, we have more than two. So we are comparing more than two, two people or two things. Okay, so we say Tariq is the tallest boy in the class. He is the most athletic boy in the class. So when we compare many students, many people, many things, not two, more than two. We use E-S-T, E-S-T, not E-R, no, E-S-T, and we use most. Okay, the, the previous one, we said more, this is more. Remember, this is more. No, we don't use more this time. We will use most. Okay, most athletic, most athletic. So, with the short adjective like tall, we use the adjective, then after that, E-S-T, the tallest, the tallest, okay? Because we are comparing more than two. We are not comparing to Ahmed and Talal, Saeed and Abdullah, Tariq and Muhammad. No, they are not two. We are comparing the whole class, okay? We are comparing the whole class. Yes, excellent, that's right. If we are comparing, okay, listen, listen, I want you to listen. If we are comparing between two, only two, the short adjective ER, the long adjective more, okay? If you are comparing more than two, more than two, the short adjective EST, this is EST, the long most. And I want you to remember, don't confuse, this is most, and that one is more, most and more. Some students, they say it's the same. No, this is most, and that one is more. How can I know it's long word or short? You know, we can say, we use it, the syllables. The syllables. If it's more than two syllables, or we can say more than six letters. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so on. If it's less than, if it's two syllables or one syllable, or you can say less than six letters. Okay, six, five, four, three. So this one is short. Okay, awesome. You can say seven and more. We can say six or less. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. So we call this, when we compare more than two, we call them superlatives. Superlative between, uh, this is the difference. You ask it about between three or more. Three or more. Three, four, five, six, seven students. Okay. So we said that we use EST with the short adjectives. We use the most with the long adjectives. Okay, we have an exercise. Complete, and you know it's the same. It's the same as we said. Okay, when we have Y before that consonant, we use we change the Y into I, then EST. We have a consonant before that one vowel. We double the consonant and EST. It's the same, okay? The same as as this one it's the same but this time we're using EST okay not ER excellent okay complete the sentences with the superlative forms of the adjectives in the parentheses number one Istanbul Turkey is interesting place I know so what do you think what should we say Can you tell me? The most interesting. Excellent. The most interesting. That's right. Beautiful. Thank you very much. This one is the most interesting. Okay. The most interesting because it's long. Can you see it? It's long. Interesting. It's long. So we have to say the most interesting. Number two. Summer is warm and dry. Time of the year. Okay. Warm. What can we say? Warm. Only warm. What do you think? The warmest and the driest. Okay. Don't forget that. Excellent. All of you. Excellent. Abdelmalik, we have to say the warmest. We don't use most because one, two, three, four letters. It's short, not long. Okay, Abdelmalik. So we have to say the warmest. Don't forget that. The warmest, the warmest, excellent. And dry, and dry, what do you think about dry? Riyadh, only driest without the? Where is the? Excellent, so we have to say the driest, excellent. And we have to change the Y. Excellent, Riyad, Abdul Malik, and uh, all of you. Thank you very much. So, okay, the first one, the driest. The second one, the warmest. And can you see the I? We changed the Y. Number three, my room is quiet. Room in the house, I can't hear any noise. What do you think about this one? What about the others? What do you think? Quiet. The quietest. Yes, that's right. The quietest. The last one. The Taj Mahal. Okay. The Taj Mahal in India is one of the beautiful buildings in the world. Okay. Can we say the beautifulest? It's difficult to pronounce. Only most, Salah. Most beautiful. Most beautiful. That's all. Yeah, excellent. The most beautiful. Excellent. That's right. Excellent, everyone. Excellent, everyone. Okay, the Taj Mahal in India is one of the, the most beautiful buildings in the world. Excellent, everyone. So, this is the summary of our lesson. In this lesson, we... Okay, listen, this is very important. Can you take a print shot of the screen? If you can, this is very important. If you want to take a picture or you, we call it screenshots of the screen, it's beautiful. Take one and save it on your computer. We want to compare. If we want to compare between two, we call it comparative. If it's short adjective, we use ER, then than, adjective, ER, than. If it's long, more, adjective, then than. 
If we are comparing 3 or more, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 100, we call it superlative. If it's short, we use EST. If it's long, we use the most adjectives. So, this is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for being with me. I hope I see you next time. And goodbye, everyone. Ah. Uh...